Using an AI art generator hasn't helped you create a design that you can actually sell yet? I know it sounds crazy, but that's actually pretty easy to fix. Hey, Leah here from Printify. Using AI image generators to cut down on the time you spend creating new designs is smart, but putting in the wrong prompts and then being surprised when it doesn't work out is not. So in this video, I'll show you how to improve your prompts to get the designs you want. Recently, an online seller told me they were thinking of hiring an AI prompt engineer. And to be honest, I thought they were kidding, so I looked it up. Sure enough, they're on Fiverr with someone you can actually pay to write AI prompts for you. Clearly, there's a demand for AI images, especially for what to write in order to get them. But before you pull out your wallet, remember that writing better prompts is a skill, one that you can absolutely improve for free. First, by subscribing to our channel, where there's always plenty more AI tips you can pick up, and then by following what I like to call the four prompt principles. Before you start writing an AI prompt, here are four things you should definitely know. First, the more you give, the better you get. Working with AI is a relationship, and the more you tell it, the better it knows what to give you. Some generators even let you upload images with a prompt to get better results. Second, your first prompt won't be your last. Think of it like a recipe. You gotta tweak it a bit each time until it's perfect. It's part of the process. In the same way, adding more prompts as you go is part of working with the AI to get the right image. Third, word order matters. AI generators place a lot of value on the first couple of words in your prompt to create an image. I'll talk more about that in just a sec, but basically, pay attention to the order of what you write and use commas to separate different concepts. And finally, support your prompt with parameters and modifiers. Modifiers come after your prompt's main idea and describe the kind of image you want, while parameters go at the end of a prompt and tell the generator how to adjust that image. Confused? Suddenly hiring one of those AI prompt engineers makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Don't worry, I'm about to make it easy for you and explain both step by step. And if you're ready to learn, then go ahead and give this video a like before we get started. Remember when I said word order matters? That's because your prompt should follow this order to get the best image as quickly as possible. Start with the main idea, specify it by adding modifiers, and then adjust it with parameters at the end. But before you start adding modifiers, make sure your prompt includes these main elements. Who or what is the focus? What does it look like? What is it doing? Where is it or what's in the background? What time of day is it or how is it lit? And what is the feeling you want the image to have? Here's an example of a simple prompt that does all of that. A black cat wearing a white headband, dramatically karate chopping a pink salmon into sushi rolls on a white background. Once your prompt has all these main ideas, that's when you can add modifiers to improve them. There are thousands of modifier words you can use to strengthen your prompt, but the most important ones describe the medium, style, and composition of your final image. Medium modifiers can be words like painting, pixel art, photo, or drawing. Style modifiers sound like realism, retro, geometric, pop art, or logo. And examples of composition modifiers are portrait, landscape, aerial, minimalism, and more. However, trying to remember all the words you can use to modify a prompt can be difficult. That's why we recommend starting a prompt library to keep track of them all, especially if certain words help you create the perfect image faster. But what happens when an AI image is almost perfect, but still needs just a little bit of adjusting? That's where parameters come in. What's the one complaint we always hear from sellers struggling to get AI images for products? It just means I'll have more editing to do later. Well, yeah, if you're doing it wrong. Think of it like a camera. A photographer always needs to adjust the settings to get the perfect shot. The same concept applies to AI and parameters. Simply put, you're telling the AI how to get that perfect shot before it creates it so you don't have to spend as much time editing it later. Adding a parameter to your prompt in mid-journey is simple. Start with two dashes, tell it the name of the parameter using its abbreviation, and then tell it how much you want it to adjust the image with a number. Now, here's where it gets just a little bit trickier. 
not all parameters use the same number scale. Lucky for you though, you can easily see which numbers to use on this page, also linked in the description below. The key here is to practice with a few prompts and a range of numbers to see and learn what the differences are. In the meantime, here are some important parameters we definitely think you should know. Aspect ratio, which adjusts the size and composition of an image. Common aspect ratios for print are one by one, five by four, or three by two. To adjust the aspect of an image, type in two dashes, then AR or aspect and the ratio you want. Negative prompts are parameters that tell the generator what not to add to an image. Simply type in no and the elements you don't want added to the end of a prompt. Chaos. This tells the AI how different you want your four resulting images to be from one another. A low chaos or C value like zero tells the AI to make each image look almost the same. But the highest chaos value of 100 will give you completely different results. A seed is like an ID number that gets generated each time the AI creates a new design. If you want the AI to create a new design similar to one that it made before, type in seed at the end of your new prompt followed by that original job seed number. The AI will find that original design and use the same elements to create a new one. And finally, image weight. Remember I told you you can also add images to your prompt? The IW parameter tells Midjourney how similar its results should be to your reference image. Look, there are plenty more parameters you can find and add to your prompts in Midjourney, but if you still feel like all of this is a lot to remember, I completely get it. That's why it's a good idea to save this video by giving it a like, and then coming back to it later when you're working with an AI generator and need some help. Don't forget, practice makes perfect, and getting the right images takes time, unless you're using the latest AI that makes doing even that a lot easier. AI art generation has come a long way since it first took the world by storm. With many free and paid versions on the market, it helps to know exactly what you're looking for, including Printify's own brand new free AI image generator, which you can find in our product creator. Our AI not only gives you options for example prompts, but also helps you enhance your own. In fact, if you're looking to learn more about the top AI tools you can use for your online store, check out this video we made where we count down our top five AI tools. But if you're looking for a free tool that makes modifying and adjusting AI images a lot easier, then I definitely recommend checking out Leonardo AI. It makes prompting easy by letting you see what others are using right from its homepage. Leonardo also has a prompt generator to help it come up with more modifiers in case you're stuck. Imagine that, an AI using AI to get better at using AI. Also, remember all those pesky parameters I told you about? Leonardo uses a combination of sliders and buttons to save you the hassle of typing them in. The point is, when it comes to AI, you've got options. So be sure to look around and use whichever generator works best for you. Got a question about AI you still can't figure out? Don't worry, drop it in the comments and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and see you next time.